All right, everyone, it's time to do a little bit of eggplant style stuff. Uh, this is a Moroccan eggplant recipe, a little bit adapted. Um, normally it calls for two and it doesn't call for all of the herbs that I'm going to be using. Um, and usually the two eggs, which we've got here, those go in for two uh, eggplants, but we're going to be using one uh, because, you know, two eggplants is quite a bit for two people, actually, uh, generally speaking. You can just twist this off, or you can rip the uh, leaves like this so you don't waste too much. You're going to want to cut it off on the end. You're not going to use that. You're also not going to use the bottom. Now this has already been pre-washed, uh, by the way, so this is clean. Uh, no worries about that. Now you're going to want quarter inch strips or a little bit less than that. And you can just sort of eyeball it about like that, fairly thin, again, about like this. And you just continue down through, and then in a second you'll see uh, all of them cut. You don't need any paneer, you don't need anything like that, but you will need, you know, a paper towel on a piece of, uh, on, a, on a plate. What you do is very simple. It's about the simplest recipe ever. Again, beaten eggs and, you know, a few herbs. And this is to taste, technically speaking. You don't have to use any of these in particular. You could just use egg if you wanted it to be bland, I guess, but I don't know why you would want that. It'll look about like this. It's coated on both sides. You just put it in the pan. And you're going to do that with each piece. Once the pan is full, uh, obviously you're not going to be able to do the entire eggplant uh, in the pan. And it will smell very good, by the way. You've got cumin, you've got paprika, you've got everything good in the world. I didn't get much spicy stuff as a kid. I was a New England kid, so sue me. Uh, you know. <laughs> Some of these recipes call for striping them up the side, like you take um, you know, a knife or something, a paring knife, and you actually cut strips out of the uh, sides of the skin. My assumption is that's for more absorption. It doesn't seem to make a huge difference though. I don't know. Again, two eggs, various herbs, a little bit of salt. That's pretty much all you need. You can put more herbs and salt and stuff on it later if you want. Okay, now we have to wait for these to be ready on one side. All right, everyone, it's been about a minute, and what happens, and we've got this on eight, um, is the bottom side will definitely dry. The cat, by the way, is screaming at us at the moment. I usually give it a swirl like that makes it a nice sizzle. And if you look, it's starting to get a little bit brown. What you want to do is you want to turn it over while it's only slightly done on that side. Yeah, like that. A little bit brown, but uh, not too much, because you want the other side to cook as well. This middle piece is always a little bit more coming. There we go. That's sort of what you want on a side. And then what you're going to do is let the other sides cook, flip them again, flip them again, then they're done, you put them on the uh, paper towel, and you let the oil drain. And basically you take the rest of the oil, if you need a little bit more, you can drip it on there, and then you put the rest of the uh, eggplants. Alright, here we are, this is the second batch. We have to flip them one more time, and you can see they're nice and brown, and that's what you want. You want some crispiness here. You can use a fork here as well. Flip them over. It's a little bit like French toast, actually. Egg and all. And that's sort of what you want. You want it to be reasonably browned, like that. Just let it to uh, let it cook for another minute or so, and then we'll show you the end result. All right, and these should be about done. I'm going to flip them over a little bit. Yeah, 
See, that's about what you want. You want it to be brown, a little bit crispy on the outside. You don't want it to be uh, too crispy, though. You want to have a little bit of malleability to it. Yeah, like that's good. Sort of like the consistency that you would want a good French toast. And of course, some people won't know what I'm talking about because they've never had it. For waffles, they're heretics. That's about what you want. That one little bit. Put that right in the middle. <laughs> and there you go. This is a Moroccan eggplant. It's a thinly sliced eggplant. You use an egg wash. You make sure to get it really, really, really uh, thoroughly egged. And uh, just some uh, herbs, a little bit of salt. And then you cook it in. What uh, The reason why you don't need to sweat this is because the outside will crisp up and it will hold that moisture inside. You actually want that. Because what you'll get is that it's still, uh, it has a lot of give to it, actually, even if the outside is crispy. You don't want it to be dry. So there you go. Rock and eggplants. That's about all. Peace out.